Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have an armor mod currently equipped on my mannequin right in front of your face here. This is the Kite's Handmaiden. The Handmaiden Outfit. The Handmaiden Outfit is essentially what I would think of as a female Silver Shroud actual costume, right? Rather than just... Obviously, this looks very much like the Silver Shroud anyway. Big black overcoat, fedora, the cigarette in the mouth is even part of the, of the armor mod here, right? It's like a part of the outfit you can equip and stuff like that. But this is highly customizable, right? Like, extremely customizable. Obviously, this is just the base default. I crafted the base default, put it on the mannequin so you can see. On my character here, we've done some few basic modifications. Obviously, we still have the cigarette in the mouth and all that stuff. But I've obviously shortened up the coat, put on pants, right? Like, and just put underpants on. <laughs> right? <laughs> but we could do all different kinds of things here. Uh, I guess I should show you first, before we even get into the armor workbench and stuff, that you can craft this for yourself at the chemistry station. So you go over here to the chemistry station. You go down here. And then it's got its own section, the Railroad Handmaiden. I don't know why it's the Railroad Handmaiden, but you can craft the cigarette, the fedora, the gloves, the outfit, and the overcoat. So there's different pieces here, right? You can see which kind of pieces go with which. Like, so the overcoat's the overcoat part, which you can unequip and then totally rock and, and wear that way. And to get this out of the way, first and foremost, right off rip, this outfit can be made to be quite revealing, I would say, um, if you wanted to do it that way. So this might not stick around very long, you guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it out there. So obviously, see here, on even the overcoat, there's a silver shroud toggle. So it will count as a silver shroud costume for the intents of the way that people react to you and, and all the quest line type of stuff that goes along with that. So it is essentially the fully designed female silver shroud outfit with a lot of things. So you can put a lamp on your back. Um, we'll put that on there just so you can see what it looks like. Um, it's fine. Um, but we could do all the there's different. You get the full overcoat buttoned or unbuttoned. The cutoff coat, which we have there, we could do a short coat, um, buttoned or unbuttoned. We'll put that on here real quick. And I'm really hoping I don't get in trouble here. Obviously, you see the little lantern on there. There's the unbuttoned version, right? It is, like I said, can be quite revealing um, with certain modifications on there, right? Um, which I do think makes sense, right? Like We're talking like super female spy lady, femme fatale type of stuff, right? So that would make sense to me anyway. It would actually fit the design quite well. Um, to be somewhat revealing, right? Obviously, that's that's just the one option, right? So you could change the lamp color too and stuff like that. I don't really like the lamp hanging off there. It got some like weird physics, but like you can put the little lamp on your back, okay? But I'm gonna take it off for the rest of the video because I, I don't like it. Um, there's all different kinds of colors here too. Um, why is that the lamp thing? The skin, yeah. We can go tan, white, tan, black, blue, red, yellow, purple, green, and red and black. We'll show off some of those colors later as we go through more of the outfit options. So, so we obviously have the full coat too we could put the full coat on there right so the full coat on there's still unbuttoned right and then that you know no shirt is part of the the outfit options so that's the you know the overcoat options is the outfit options so we have suspenders on or not and then you could you could put on different skins um so we have the pants with shirtless but you could put the pants with the shirt on and then you could have the open shirt like this right with the shirt on underneath right so you can make it revealing but absolutely you don't have to like this is not a mod that is designed to be revealing and to be kind of like, oh, look, titties. Um, <laughs> there's my monetization is gone. I said the word. Um, but it is an outfit that is highly customizable female silver shroud outfit, which is wonderful, I think, actually, like as a design philosophy thing. Obviously, as you see here, we could put Ballistic Weave all the way up to Mark V on both the outfit and the overcoat. So that gives you plenty of defensive rating. That, none of that applies to the gloves. The gloves just get colors. The fedora just gets colors. And the cigarette does get colors as well. Um, I don't know. Like, that. we had the cigarette holder. We could just put a cigarette in there, right? Without the, the big long holder and stuff in there. Very much looking like a, a noir detective, right? Like, very much. It just fits the theme, right? I, I really do like the look of this, right? I like the shirt on there and the pants and stuff. But there's so many different style options to go through. And then, obviously, with all the different colors and stuff as well. So let's go through some of the more base outfits here. So what I think I'm actually going to do in a way that I hope is as safe as possible. So I'm going to take the overcoat off for now. Obviously, you could, see, you could just rock it like this too, right? You don't need the big old coat. It does give you a big chunk of ballistic weave resistances if you put that on there, but you could do just the outfit and this will give us a better idea of what the different outfits look like. Now, now shirtless, I'm a little bit worried about. So we're going to show off the shirt style options with this. Obviously, this is quite revealing as well. Um, with the corset, right? You, you do get a little bit, a lot, you know, a whole lot of legs, I guess, shown off here um, with this particular combination of things. Obviously, if you were to put the overcoat back on, especially if you have the overcoat designed in a way like this where it's long, 
you really just get the front leg part. I mean, you know, like you can mix and match these things. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to show this off. All right, in a way that is not gonna get me in too much trouble. Okay, you can obviously take off the suspenders and stuff. Um, you also have a garter and a shirt. I, I'm really careful about making sure the shirt stays on here, right? So same kind of idea, garter, and of course it is not extremely different. I mean, I, I understand they're different, but like you know, but you know, minorly different, right? So obviously that you take the overcoat off, you could show off this more, right? More of what the garter looks like in comparison to the corset, right? You could, you could, see, it's probably more revealing, I would say, if that's if we're gonna describe it as any kind of way, it's more revealing. Um, and you could do this stuff shirtless. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. So this is what it looks like, shirtless. Um, we're just gonna keep my character on the back here. You guys can to use your imagination to imagine what the front looks like there, with the suspenders, right? Obviously, you could take the suspenders off. Okay, this mod is going to get taken down because <laughs> someone's gonna, some someone's gonna whine and someone's gonna bitch and be like, oh my god, oh my god, it's too much skin for a mod. It's not even M rated. It's too high or whatever. So you know, we'll leave that alone. So I'm gonna actually design the outfit how I would want to design the outfit, for example, and we'll go through some of the colors and stuff here. So I do think you should have a shirt on, right? I, I, do, I like the look of the shirt, right? It's a very fancy like button-up vest with a tie and everything like it's, it's very fancy so I just like the pants with the shirt right like this even just as a baseline outfit without the overcoat is quite nice right and then you can combine that with different overcoat parts so if we take this and we will take the overcoat which we currently have is full right you could even do open unbuttoned right or button depending on your preference here but like a cutoff coat we'll put that as a uh, unbuttoned just because I want to show off the look I, I really do like the look of this like this vest with the tie and stuff and the suspenders and all that. It look, like I said, it looks real nice. You obviously can, like I said, do certain things with it. But the cutoff is nice. That looks nice. It's a nice, like, trimmed off vest. It does look nice. Fits the CVE body ball. Fedora looks nice. Female silver shroud outfit, right? With a cutoff overcoat. Or you can make the overcoat even shorter. And like I said, you could button it or unbutton. There's a lot of options here. And you can, like, you absolutely don't have to go in a direction that makes it see like that's like a half coat right it goes like down below down you know past your waist into the thigh right compared to being cut off like a but the waist right so you have different coat cutoffs you have different combinations obviously you wear the corset and the garter and you could you know or no shirt and, and and with a corset and a garter and then you know you could do certain things and you could get me in trouble on youtube um but still just in all those options, there is a huge amount of options, right? And the, and the silver shroud toggle is very cool. We're going to put different colors in all of these things here. So the show white, I think that'd be kind of a cool example, like a white silver shroud, right? Like just an all white angel of justice. Obviously, also, I want to mention the outfit does get a mist mod too. So you get all of the shield lining for even more resistances if that's something that you're into. Um, we'll show off a couple different options here. Though. We'll go white. And you can kind of already see through here, right? The white option has like kind of a gold on it with a tie and stuff. That looks quite nice. It's your personal preference. I, I think that's a little bit too standout-ish, right? The Silver Shroud wouldn't wear white. I, I think the default black is really nice. But like the fact that there are color options there is really cool. All right, we'll go blue-red. I think that would give me a good different, the gumshoe, um, apparently. You know, so colors are all personal preference too. People like different colors. I like, I'm a big fan of color pink. I like the color pink a lot, um, but you know, everybody's got different things. So blue, red, blue, red combination, mostly blue, like dark blue with some red on it. That does look nice though. It's got different styles, right? Like the fact that those options exist is just extremely cool, right? Like, so we can do other things. There's yellow, purple, green. We can do green. I guess what will look like, I mean, technically you can mix and match too. So like if we, if we made that, it says olive, is it, which is weird. Cause like if I make it, it's, it's, it was just green, it's olive green. So it's going to be very dark. Um, but you can mix and match. Like you can make something's green and something's purple. You can like cosplay as the as a Joker, I guess, in Fallout, um, with some with certain styles of this outfit, right? Here's my green. Make sure everything is green, just for the purposes. I get real lost sometimes, you guys. My brain do be like that. So this is the green. It comes with the orange by default, which is kind of a unique color combination, and it does look, you know, I would say quite nice. But you know, everybody, like I said, has got personal preference on things. We'll show off one more color. We'll do purple here because I think that's just gonna, you know, really pop. Um, but, you know, there's more options than that red and black, right? All the different things. But the Jester, I think, will be something that, like, definitely shows off how, what the colors could look like. And the Hornet, too. I imagine the yellow is very yellow, too. But, you know, color options. And like I've been showing off here, th this outfit can obviously be made to be quite skimpy, right? Very much, very little clothing, um, very little armor. I mean, you get the armor rating off of it because that's how Ballistic Weave works. But, like, 
you absolutely can do this. this yeah, it's the purple with the green. This is the Joker, right? This is the Joker outfit as it is. Just the purple set because it goes purple and green as it is anyway, which is, does look like quite nice. And obviously, like I said, I could easily go in here and be like, hey, yo, man, you want to see my character's ass? Like, I guess, right? Like, is this the deal, man? So, like, the short coat, we're going to go cut off coat because that's, the, like, the least amount of coat. We're going to unbutton it. Right? And then if you take this outfit here and you put on anything that's shirtless, it's obviously going to show off a lot of things. The garter is the least amount of clothing, right? And then you could you could you could totally totally be this and have a lot of a lot of your character's skin showing and still retain all the outfit parts, right? But I just I just don't I don't feel it, right? It's not it's not the way that I would rock the outfit. It's not what I think. Obviously that option is there if you're into that kind of thing, I guess. I'm going to try my best not to judge you. Um right? But like I think the pants and the shirt, the full suit outfit, short coat like that. I like the short coat, right? Very much. Now I'm the the silver shroud, but also the Joker, right? There's a lot of customization options there, and some of you are going to use more than others. And like I said, there's. I think it's an easy mod to just ignore all the 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 side that you know would get me demonetized on YouTube more. I did show it off a little bit. I hope you know I'm probably going to get demonetized anyway because YouTube hates me. Um, but hopefully you do check this mod out because this is a good one it is a good female silver shroud outfit with like a high amount of customization options ballistic weave support color options and and the cigarette in the mouth is i think is a cool nice touch right so you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below is the handmaiden very cool or you know bad or whatever you want to tell me that you think about it okay if you want to check out this mod for yourselves. If it's still up, there'll be a link in the description to the Bethesda.net page or the Nexus mod page. You can find this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be. And I will see you in the next episode.